Orbs of Doom? Oh no. Oh no. It's data design. Avert your eyes! So there's gonna be a selection screen. And when you select the thing on the left, you hear a little drum on your left ear. And then when you select the thing on the right, you hear it in your right ear. How could I possibly have predicted this? So when a chat says, at this point, I'm fairly certain Vinny goes back in time to create data design. My hatred for data design extends so far back that when I get there and I lose my way home, I create them by accident. Wait a minute. Is this like fake super monkey ball? How am I supposed to hold the controller? Like it's, this is the, this is really, really sensitive. You have to hold the Wiimote flat. It's really, really stupid. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, okay, don't do that. Come on. Oh, you didn't dick! I didn't pause the game. Will you ever do a stream of 100% completion of all data design games? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right after Mother 3. I get why people wanted me to play this. My hesitance was only because I wasn't ready for a long RPG. But, it was worth it. Got some really, really, really impressive N64 graphics. Seriously, there are N64 games that look better than this. Mario Galaxy came out five days after this game. I feel like you could say that about every data design game. That something good came out just after. Because there's like fucking 15 to 20 data design games on the Wii. Just cloning other more popular games. Implementing the same fucking shitty music and graphics engine and controls. It's, it's really data design. Man, I need revenge. I mean, this raises a moral question. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say that I would've pissed in their ice cream when they were children, but I would've. So this is the super monkey ball that makes you want to puke. It's just the music makes me want to puke. Come on, pumpkin man. Come on, you can do it, pumpkin. Come on, you can do it, pumpkin man. Come on, you can do it. You got it. You got this. You got this! Wow. That game mechanic. Bumping game mechanics. You know, and the worst part is, I love Super Monkey Ball. I've streamed Super Monkey Ball 2. It's a shame, because I want a new Monkey Ball game. I want a good one. And yet, here I am playing this, and I'm starved for Monkey Ball, so I'm just playing this. Vinny, one of my friends says, Limp Biscuit was over... underrated. What should I do? Here's what you do. For Christmas, give them this game, and the other games in the data design back catalog. So you just- you just get him a couple gifts, including, um... Wh whatever the name of this game is, and then you get, um... Data Design Cart. You get Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. You get a Ninja Bread Man. Chew! I did it all for a lucky! Data Design, you fucking wound me. No, I gotta do story. Okay, confession. I've only ever seen Grease in pieces when I was like five. I know, the guy's name is Duty. I have to be him, right? Okay, fine. I'll be- I'll be Duty. I'm hoping it'll be bad so I can say that it's travolting. It's- it's exactly what you think it is. Is this a cover? I don't know, I can't tell. This is the actual song? Okay, let me talk over it a lot, because I would very much not like for some fucking greedy corporation to destroy my video. I'm gonna shake around a lot! I'm gonna pretend like my life depends on it. I'm gonna be shaking. I am going fucking mental. I look like a right twat right about now, but that's okay because I'm playing and nothing's gonna get muted because go fuck yourself. Uh-huh. This movie, uh, you know, this- this game is to celebrate the release of the new Travolta film, uh, Gotti, which has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Was that a curse? Oh my god! Whoa! Did you see that? You know what word that was? Get off my rock. 
<laughs> oh my god, what filth this movie was. What, I wonder if that was more acceptable in the 70s, where you could say that. I thought Grease was like a thing for kids. There we go, more VOD mutes. It is more VOD mutes! Uh, god damn it. Let's take care of the VOD mutes right now, shall we? This is the song Grease. In Algo Music. Alright, now let me throw my cream pies. Once again, the music on point. Duck hook. Uh, oh, it hurts. The music hurts. This is like shitty Sims characters. Oh, amazing. Look at... Virginity? Okay, I, I really, really, really need to not play the music again now, okay? Because this is probably enough for a mute. You've got your crust. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, you know what stream you're on. Hey... I don't know. I don't know what that word was supposed to be. Fuckle? Fuzzle. I'm gonna say fuckle. If they censored the word fool, I am gonna register a complaint with the FCC. The Smurfs Dance Party. Here's some trivia from Nari. Fun fact, due to excessive DRM, this was the last game for Dolphin to boot. It didn't boot until March 2017. Hold the Wii remote with your right hand and follow the dancing Smurfs. When I see that, this is what happens in my head. The noisy Smurf Smurfs want to dance with somebody. We like to Smurf it. We like to Smurf it, Smurf it! Who let the Smurfs out? Are you kidding me? Barbara Streisand, that's the name of the song? This, this is a request. This one in particular. This one... Nary wrote specifically. I'm Hans Smurf- Who let the Smurfs out? What?! This <laughs> Gargamel, this poor actor, when asked about his uh, credits. You know, his IMDB. This actor just- just opted to leave this out. He doesn't tell his family about this. Vinny, are you actually dancing? I'm sitting and flailing my arms around like a fucking moron. That's the best I'm gonna do, okay? It's effective. And then, of course, Gargamel drinks the red fluid and proceeds to die a long, slow, painful death. Mr. Smurf Tasty. Is the sensor really that good, though? You know what I mean? Like, I just did that super move and nothing happened. I put the fucking Wiimote behind my head. Look. It's behind my head. I'm doing the poses and it's not working. So, this game is japes. I'm actually getting points by moving the Wiimote three or four inches back and forth. This is what I look like right now. Do you want me to just, um, keep this up in the corner? So here's my face cam, everybody. So now you can see. <sighs> oh, no. Not this fucker again. You need the lyrics, I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't want to take that away from you. It'd ruin the experience. Uh, I'm loving the Gargamel costume. A lot of effort was put into it. You can see just how much effort was put into it. They got like a, you know, they went to the nearest party city, picked up a little black um, monk outfit, some red shoes, or are those socks? I can't tell. All right, that's enough of that. Um, I don't want to hear about Gargamel planting a seed. Is there a drink bleach DRM with this 
Mm-hmm. I know this fucking song. Is this song really called Barbra Streisand? All right, I've had enough. We're going on a colorful journey. Welcome to Crayola Video Game. It's almost time for twins Philip and Violet's birthday party. They can hardly wait to see the colorful streamers. Hey, that's me. When the big day arrives, though, there are no decorations. Instead, Philip finds a very large coloring book. Mystified, he opens the book and travels to Crayola Land. His faithful dog Spot comes with him. The two friends discover that they're standing in the middle of a forest, but something's wrong and the colors seem to be missing. Gotta find out what kind of game this is. What? Oh, these are some physics. These are some physics. If you're wondering what that noise was, I was obviously out of color. So what do you do when you're out of, uh, Crayola? You just die? What do you guys want me to draw? A spear? How about a tree? A big red rocket. Could you imagine? This is what your day is like. That poor bastard. Could you imagine how traumatizing it must be to just have... ...yellow shapes falling out of the sky onto you? I would love to crash this game right now. So that's the tutorial. Dumbest kid... ...in history. Yeah, coloring book. Coloring book. It is time to color, my dude. Never- never let me say my dude again. Coloring book, coloring book, coloring book, coloring- coloring book! I can't wait to crash this game. Don't go this way! It rains death and destruction this way! You idiot. No, no, what are you doing? No, no, stop climbing! You gotta clip through the wall! I think he's having an existential crisis. I think the kid knows that he's a video game character. Go through the wall, go through the wall. Oh, you're so close. You are so close. Just, just a little bit further. I think I can get him through the wall. <laughs> Is this how life ends? Yeah. I feel like I've accomplished something. I feel like if I could just exploit the climbing animation a little bit better, I could, I could probably get him up into the ceiling. I'm just developing speedrun tactics live on stream. I'm, you know, for whenever someone decides to speedrun Crayola game. Oh shit. I'm in the ceiling. I did it. Goal accomplished. Game is officially soft lock. Yay, now I can stop the game. I see a couple shapes, shapes like, like, they're kind of flying around. Look at the, there we go. There we go, something, something good's happening. Yay, this is a quality stream. One day people are gonna look back on this and they're gonna say, Vinny, this was the worst stream you've ever done. And when people ask me, I can at least reference the Great Shovelware Showcase Disaster of 2018. We're in 2018 now, yes? Current year? Give up? Yeah, alright. 